Boom. What's up, people? We're here for another episode of uh, Sturdo Vision, and boom, tonight we're discussing the movie Fang, and we have the director Richard Bergen. Is that how you pronounce your last name? Richard Bergen? That's Richard Bergen. RG. Boom. <laughs> That's me. Boom. RG, RB. We got him right here with us. And uh, it's going to be a fun time. It's going to be a fun time. Hope you guys are ready. And uh, let's let's dive into oh, this. Oh, thank you guys so much mm-hmm. for for having me. You know, it's an honor to be here. And, you know, I'm, I'm excited. Appreciate to have you here. Appreciate having you here. And I'm going to jump right off the bat and just say, <clears throat> interesting choice with a rat. Oh, thank like you. With the whole, or should I with say, that thank you. tie into it. <laughs> with the whole tie in, <laughs> it, it was different because coming into this fang, the first thing I thought of was wolf, werewolf. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't that. It wasn't a werewolf, but I was like, oh, this yeah. Is different. This is different. But what, what made you choose that? Well, it was interesting about why I thought of the rat is because. And that was that there was this Uh-oh. Mm-mm. Yeah, I think the connection is uh, no bueno. Bathroom. Oh, shit. Yeah, now it seems like it's getting worse. Do you want to try to do, like, a Zoom meeting next time or... Yeah, we could do that. Um, maybe this. Uh... We could. We'll, tr- well, me and you can schedule. We'll schedule an interview again, Richard, and ch- see if it's less choppy. And then us three right here will just review. Good. It. Review. Yeah. But yeah, I'll, 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 no, I'll, be, I'll shoot you a message. Happy to um, do that. I'll shoot you a message sometime tomorrow. Yeah, it sounds sometime great. Sometime tomorrow, no, I mean, it's... we'll go from there. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, because that day I was. Uh... Well, actually, now it seems to be working well for anyone who's watching this live. We've been having some uh, technical problems before the show and during the show, too, with the Internet connection. But I guess we can give it a few more minutes if there's any more. Seems to be doing okay right now. Yeah, it's a little better. really good. So I think... um, Oh yeah, let me see. We're, oh yeah, about how I got the idea for the, uh, the rats. Rat, yeah. There was this. Uh, yeah, yeah. So there was this. Uh, there was this infestation in my dad's. Oh. <laughs> he gets good for uh, a yeah, while. It's, it's good until he starts the story. <laughs> yep. Damn it. <laughs> I want to hear the damn story. I know. So do I. Story <laughs> goes, I don't want to do it again. They don't yeah, want me to tell. Here. They don't want me to tell that story. It's some kind of uh... <laughs> secret. But we'll. Uh, I, well, I, what I'll do is I'll shoot you a message tomorrow. Then and we'll figure something out. We'll get something scheduled, and we'll yeah. me and you will do something. And hopefully, by yeah, then, hopefully, you get a better idea, have a better connection. Yeah, I, I want to know how so. you got a little yeah, more. Yeah, I mean, this, this cool. almost never. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, no, I mean, you guys, you know, you guys are wonderful. You know, it's, this is really cool to get to talk to you guys. It's just, yeah, the, the, my internet decided to have uh, trouble with some very unfortunate timing because it was working very well throughout today. So I guess this can be kind of a uh, comedy video of Richard Bergen's uh, <laughs> internet <laughs> problems. <laughs> so it's, it's, a, it's a unique kind of uh, interview. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I, and that's, you know, the thing with, uh, with filmmaking is that, you know, there are so many things that come up, you know, when you're making a movie. So you got to have, you know, a positive attitude and you got to put like a positive spin on all the different, you know, bad things that happen because it's especially with a movie like Fang, it was not exactly 
smooth sailing, you know, to make this because we started, we started, I, I started writing the script in March 2019, and then we filmed Fang in February 2020, so right before the pandemic, and then the premiere was in November 2022, so the whole process of making it was like three and a half years in the process of wow. distributing it is still going on so it's 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 been a very interesting experience nice that is wow damn that has that has to be something too because you like you, said, oh, you yeah. started writing in 2019 and then 2020 is when you guys had it out and had not for the pandemic would have probably had it pushed and everything out earlier in 2020 instead of late November and then like oh, just yeah. you know and now it's 2022 how it's kind of just yeah that, it's that's still interesting going on. well I guess that's why the first word that came to mind to describe it was interesting but it's not exactly interesting it's more like you know filmmaking is you know really wonderful you know it's it's the most amazing thing I've done in my life but it can also be the most terrible thing too at times so it's kind of like this roller coaster ride of highs and lows and honestly the pandemic didn't have too much of an impact on on taking a long time for fang to get finished like the bigger impact was the the audio there were there were audio problems that took about six months to a year to fix. Wow. <clears throat> Shit. That's it was, yeah, it was the sound, that long? Uh, it was the sound epidemic that we, that we thankfully mm. cured. And I'm very wow. happy with how the, with how the audio turned out for Fang. Now, wow. Is this, is this your first um, film? Your first, first feature, feature film? film? Yeah, I made, a couple of short films and short videos before this, but this is the first time making a movie on this scale for me. And I think really, you know, it's, it's one of those things where nothing can fully prepare you for the experience until you're there in the thick of it, solving all of those that come up and, you know, and I just remember, you know, that feeling of ecstasy when, you know, on day 23, when we finished, you know, principal photography, you know, I was like, and I'm not usually the kind of guy who does this, but I was like, you know, jump on for joy and everybody was just so, you know, that we did it. And that was before post-production. It was a little premature, but we were incredibly happy. Nice. How'd you get Lynn Laurelly into this? Did you meet well, her at a con? Did you, actual, uh... Oh, sorry. Oh, you're, uh, good. Wanted, you're good. Did you? Uh, yeah, I, I have an annoying habit. Sometimes I cut people off, oh. or maybe it was the internet got cut off. No. Uh -oh. well, no, goes. I want to know this. But, uh, oh, no. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> there it goes again. <laughs> no, we're getting these stories. We're, yeah. we're pushing through. We're getting these stories oh, yeah. tonight. Internet, you're not talking to me. Every time, us. yeah, every <laughs> time it's like I, I get asked a question that I'm supposed to answer. That's when I have the the connection <laughs> problem. <laughs> yep. But we're not so, going to uh, stop about us. how uh, Lynn Lowry. Uh, got involved in Fang. Actually, she reached out to me, and she was one of the few actors in the uh, movie who reached out to me directly. What happened was that I made like just this random post on social media about how I was going to be making a movie. I I you know waited a couple of hours. Doing standard Richard had a message in on Facebook Messenger from Lynn Lowry where she said, Oh, hi Richard, you know, I saw that you're making a movie. I saw your post had a I was like, 
oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pass up this opportunity. <laughs> Rewriting the, uh, writing the, I, I greatly expanded the role of the mother, you know, and then I wanted to make sure that, you know, if I'm going to get Lynn to be in the movie, I want to give her, her you know, a very, very prominent role. It was originally Billy in Fang was originally going to have two parents. So I was like, okay, you know, his dad died tragically when he was young. Now it is only the mother. It's a mother and son mm. movie. That was a, that was a change I decided to make. Cool. That's cool. I like yeah, yeah, and it was honestly oh, with you. with that change, it uh, I feel like it kind of helped with the story and with the dynamic between Billy and his mother because it was just like it got oh absolutely, it it, it got some levels. And it's like what the hell? <laughs> it brought a whole big uh, mental illness. I think to I the know what you're saying. You you mean by that? <laughs> I mean, just in general, like, just like with, um, just, just in general, just like the whole dynamic between the two of them throughout the whole movie. Cause it, it, you could see how much it would change throughout the movie. It changed little by little. And you've seen where it was from the beginning until the end of this film, which, you know, it happens in the end. And you're just like, wow, that, yeah, that that's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That escalated. <laughs> it did. It, went, it escalated pretty quick, <laughs> and you could and you could feel like the tension right from the beginning. As soon as you see him and his mother together, the way they're he's looking at her, and I, I was like, oh yeah, he doesn't he doesn't care for his mother at all. You could tell. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I thought I thought that was cool. Oh, so I was cool. like, it prepares you for you know it prepares you for something that's gonna you know happen or you know. Uh, you know, helps build up to the climax of the, of the of the movie or whatever. But yeah, I thought that was pretty. You could feel the tension for sure. It was interesting. It was I was interesting. honestly expecting him to just go off a lot sooner and start killing just in general. <laughs> mm -hmm. But this was like just like it was it, it it was like he was battling something inside, and once that broke out, that was it. Yeah. Like you can definitely yeah. see the uh, the mental illness between the mother and the son, but you have your mother's mental illness, and then you have the son's building. Like he's thinking, right. he's undiagnosed, kind of. And but also now he is starting to lose it. Like she's already lost it, but she's now kind of like a igniter between her, the boss, um, mm -hmm. this paycheck not going through. Like everything's mm -hmm. building up, and all of a sudden, it, that tension goes through. And he uses the the bite of the rat or whatnot as like its catalyst to start the ball to fall down, like the snowball going effect. And finally, yeah. all of a sudden, boom! Everything just goes. Yeah, yeah. And when it does, it's like, no. Like ooh. actually, the things that you guys are pointing out, because you know, I, I've, I've talked to people about Fang before, and you guys are noticing a lot of stuff early on in the movie that people don't usually talk to me about or ask me mm. questions about. And I, and I did get a couple of reviews for Fang talking about it, you know, being slow. And I would agree it is a slower paced movie. And while I was writing the script, I wanted to really take my time, you know, for everything to mm. unfold. And you know, these, these scenes in the beginning are not the most attention-grabbing scenes. It's more subtle things, you know, like you were saying. It's, you know, the way Billy and his mother are together, their body language, their <laughs> mannerisms, and Billy being frustrated because he can't cash his check. And the rap fight doesn't happen. I think it's like 25 minutes into the movie so there's a lot of thing that happens before then and I'm, and I'm really happy you know and grateful that you guys got a lot out of those early scenes as far as you know setting the stage for the descent into madness that comes up later you know and you know i i, I really appreciate the kind words and and everything 
Yeah, it's now, cool. I, I could see. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Aaron. No, I was just gonna say I just wanted to get the rat story. Now that the internet's working, <laughs> now that it's working, yeah. We, we got we got the one. Okay. Like, we'll yeah. it's, all, it's all Sturdy's fault. I know you had a question though, Jeff. So you can go right on ahead and ask it, and then right after that, you can go right into the story. Maybe maybe it'll work at the end if he answers your no, question. It was, it right was more of a, it, it wasn't. Well, I guess you could say it was, it's not really a question, but it was more adding on to what you were just saying. Like for me, I thought because we, me and uh, Sturdy talked about it a couple minutes um, after I saw it, and I saw. And at first, I was like, "Okay, it's a slow burn, no big deal," because I watch anything, you know what I mean. But it, it to me, it was kind of a slow burn. However, I was never not interested. Like every yeah. every let's say like five minutes, he's going a little crazier, a little bit crazier, and then nothing goes right in this kid's life. Nothing, <laughs> you know what I mean? This poor kid. He's trying to cash his check. He can't do it. He can't get peace from his mother. He's got, you know, no friends, no life, no, nothing goes right for him. And then on top of that, he's got this mental illness. So mm-hmm. between his mental illness, her mental illness, I'm like, okay, this is going to, something's going to happen. You know what I mean? It's so the whole time, too. the whole time people are saying, yeah, that, that slow burn business. Okay, great. But at the same time, you can see something building and building and building. And then you add the, the, the nurse to it, who is in the middle of it, like, that poor lady. Oh my god! <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> she yeah. was just like, "What the hell am I doing in this crazy this house? Is crazy!" And that was awesome. That yeah. was like a good oh, little side you. element to it. I thought as well. So, yeah. And I mean, thank you an- so much. another thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, w- I would say that you can kind of connect with it, and without throwing anybody out there, just with family, with the hell, with mental illness, and you kind of you see certain things to where you pick it up a lot more than maybe a lot of people would that don't, that haven't seen it or, you know, haven't seen it firsthand with certain things. And it's like, Oh, and it, obviously it's not to the extreme of what they put into movies, but it's still maybe the beginning signs, the beginning, beginning. I mean, where it's like real light and calm. That's like, no, that's like what really happens. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Extra, I mean, once, you know, when you're diagnosed and you do everything now, I don't know what happens if you let a lot of things go. I, I really don't know, but I'm sure it can get pretty bad. Yeah. Oh, All yeah. Aside, but but it, it was like it was cool. It was it was cool to see that and be able to point that out. And it was just like, OK, like this this kid right here, man. I'm like, it's, it's like, like you just, see how his like, mom is. But like then you see how he peace. is. Too. You know what I mean? It's like he just wants peace. He gets crap no, from his mom. He gets crap from no, his mom. No, he gets the Everything opposite him. of peace. Yeah, everything in his life is jabbing at him, and he's like, "You better stop." <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't bother nobody. Stop. I don't hurt you know nobody. I, mean? I just yeah. go to work and freaking go home. And, and oh, what yeah. was really, I mean, I'm not trying to trying to you know have spoilers or anything, but the part at the end when he was eating, I didn't expect that at all. <laughs> like, what? The- that was Same yeah. Here. That was one of what? the uh, scenes. But- I was. I was. I thought you were. Referring to earlier when I said, "Oh wait, yeah. scenes." I think that's that's yeah. one of the scenes without giving. Oh yeah, that, that I mean, away. the way that it ends. Yeah, that but was I was just, like, I meant just the whole freaking thing. But that right <laughs> there, I'm now I'm thinking about. It. I'm like, okay, is that where the rat portion is with him being the rat? Because how they'll just eat anything, and boom. And that's how you tie it in. So I'm just like, oh, that's that's a that's an interesting tie. That's an interesting tie-in with the yeah. rat without like it, it, it does involve the use of, of fangs. The ending ah, did involve there you go, fangs. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was yeah, <laughs> yeah. A little nibble nibbling. <laughs> yep, yep, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, people, listen. Everybody needs to take a deep breath, stretch, and be ready for this because we're getting this rat infestation story. We, we know what that is dad. Yeah, they, they we know what that is dad. Or was at his father. Not now. I won't say it's there now, but it was there at some point in time. Yes, <laughs> According to Richard. Uh. <laughs> 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 well, well I'm, I'm really, <laughs> I'm really happy, you know, with. You know, you guys, you know, bringing up all this stuff about Fang, it's bringing back a lot of fun memories. All the time I spent working, I'm spent later watching it. And the infestation story actually was not a rat infestation. 
at my dad's house. It was more like brown recluse spiders and Oof. insects. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, which is actually painful. worse in a way. I mean, yeah. I like rats yeah. more. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, John's just thinking he's got a pet mouse somewhere. Evil, you know what I mean? hey, oh yeah, right. no, I like rats a lot now. After Fang, you know, it's mm -hmm. it's become like my spirit animal over the past few years. Yeah, so what I was thinking is that you know, well, I can't have Billy get bitten by a spider and start turning into a spider because that would be like. Spider Man, I can't have him Copyright. turn into yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't have him turn into like a cockroach or an insect because that would be too similar to the metamorphosis. So I thought, you know, what about a rat? You know, he could get he could get bitten by a rat and start turning into a rat. And then I started thinking, yeah, you know, I like this rat yeah. idea. And it was always going to be, you know, he's, he feels like he's, you know, turning into something that is not human. And if I want to sound more sophisticated, I guess I would say that's a metaphor for losing your mind or getting in touch with your animalistic side or whatever you want to call that side. Mm. It's the, you know, mm. violent and, an unrestrained side of, of, you know, human nature or mm -hmm. rodent nature or brown recluse spider nature. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In nature, I mean, you back anything into a corner, eventually it, whatever it is, is going to fight. It's going to attack. Absolutely. Yeah, attack. yeah, yeah. It that makes a lot up. of sense. And yeah. yeah. With all that, yeah. with the story that we got finally, which I enjoyed, he answered my next damn hey. question, which was like, <laughs> like more so with the tie in with the rats, which you, which I love how you with the spiders. Then you went back to the rats, and it was just like boom, boom. Then the whole, oh, thank you. This, this, the whole other shit. You're just like, oh my goodness. Like you, because watching this movie, I mean, <clears throat> you, you know, it's an independent movie. And I'm not saying that out of disrespect, but you don't, like this conversation we're having. From watching this movie, you don't expect to get all that from what you see from the visuals of this. And again, I don't mean any disrespect with that. It was your first film, too. Oh, great job. Awesome. Oh, yeah, for thank like, you. Yeah. Like, yeah, you for pulled, like, oh, thank you guys so, so much. much. From the story. Pulling yeah. so much from the story is just like, holy shit. <laughs> like, you're pulling <laughs> so much. And like, yeah. and there's a lot I feel of like, too. I feel like this, this came out around, your movie definitely came out with it around a really good time just because like with the whole like mental health awareness and all that stuff like really since i don't know how long it's been going on now as far as like out there out there in the public where it's not like a secret anymore which again mm -hmm. people who've been who've grown up with it and families you already know how it is like, Shh, don't tell them but it's like you should probably share it with your family because <laughs> it is you know it could be passed down it's like you should probably oh, share yeah. that people know what to look for no signs mm -hmm. not just Shh, like we gotta stop that <laughs> 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 uh, no, they they couldn't keep quiet, Billy and Gina. They uh, their mental illness ended up not being the the quiet and hidden kind. Past no, the point. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. I mean, especially with the way it ended up with Billy, you can't hide that at all. Yeah. Oh no, anyway, you can't hide. I, the you know what I want to get get back to really quick was his drawings the drawings with that was so interesting i was like i want to see a story from this what, yeah. what's, what's, oh thank I, you yeah. i really he was wanna, describing like, what that was i was like damn that could be like a spinoff or something because that was interesting that, I, I, I'm, being, I'm being really serious if you could write something with that i say go for it even if you have oh, to like change you. up some things with it as far as like make it yeah, easier to make a movie yeah but i would say go for because that i was like holy shit i was like you know, making this like how he like he you know he has his mental Ill illnesses and all that but when he she the nurse showed interest in it he got excited and whenever yeah. he was talking about it he was completely normal he was attentive he was, he was like, attached to the conversation there was no sign of mental illness at all because he could actually, you know, share what he liked and it was okay and it was accepted yeah. and all that because where every other aspect of his poor life was just trash. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, oh yeah, I just uh, there's a, there's a lot that you get from it. A lot of emotions. If you you know follow his get, feelings and the way he handles things, you get a lot out of it because that's like yeah. the only time that guy is happy. Is that? Is yeah. That oh yeah. The, no, was, you're uh, right about with that. His mom. Mm -hmm. They're arguing that he'll be screaming at the mom and the mom is screaming at him. He would just run off 
and start drawing. He's like, mm-hmm. okay, I'm going into my own little world now, away from everything, and hopefully yep. and build up on that story, which was a pretty cool story. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Well, it is. it was inspired by a story that a friend of mine came up with, so they will ultimately get to decide how the story is told. And they did the illustrations to our friend. Yeah, for that story, I think it was interesting that you brought up that this is the only time that Billy is happy in Fang, mm-hmm. which is true. But then if you look a little bit closer at the drawings, you know, these are very violent drawings, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's like showing these aliens are getting their heads ripped off and he's stabbing mm-hmm. the mother alien, you know. It's almost like foreshadowing off. a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah, lots. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Technical difficulties. It'll come back though, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'll come back. It'll, I have oh, faith. Yeah, it'll come back. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We had a good run. <laughs> can you hear me now? We're back, we are back yeah, again. Okay, yep. yeah. we can hear you. Yeah. We're back. We had a good run. It was I got the rat story in there. That's what that's Yeah, what that's good. <laughs> yeah. <It> matters. <laughs> <laughs> we got the right story. But yeah, like with, with the foreshadowing and everything with that, but still just from that story, and like you were saying, Jeff, like how excited he was getting and like how deep he was getting into the character. And I was like, oh shit, tell me yeah. more, man. Damn, yeah. I'm about to take my yeah. shirt off for you. you tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But it, 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 oh, I'm but, really but glad what you I guys enjoyed about that. that. Same. But what's cool about that though is is it, it like it, it shows you right there, like no matter what. People have, you know, people are going to have an interest in something, something that they're really locked in and passionate on. And they really love, like, he loved that art he was doing, those comic, mm-hmm. whatever what was a comic, right? And I'm just like, oh, yeah. Oh, I was like, that was, it was, it was graphic. It was graphic, but <laughs> it was still an interesting, like, just a story. Again, an interesting story, something fun. And shit, I want to see more of that story, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, yeah, there might be a Gregson spinoff someday, too. You never know. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. Thought about doing, like, a sequel? Oh, oh a sequel for I've Fang. A lot of brought a, uh, a Fang, too. And, you know, if there is a sequel, what I think would happen is that, you know, Billy would have to get cured somehow without really being cured although his uh relationship with myra the family caregiver would probably he would he would have a hard time you know resuming that yeah. if mm-hmm. he if he gets out of out of where he is I'm, without find out her with another ending. person yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like as a waitress or something yeah, yeah. I was gonna say because oh, yeah. uh, if I if, if I, I I don't care who it is if I walk in on you doing that I'm be like yeah uh, oh, I know that this person has, breaking I, I know he has yeah. I know yeah. he or she has some you know some mental issues and they can't help that but um no nah, you gotta keep keep him in that room yeah. <laughs> because yeah. it, this this is like this <laughs> can happen again yeah. or he <laughs> could do was like to say he gets out definitely he could decide to uh, publish his comic. He needs, some, he needs the money, <clears throat> or and or then, Matt, that's a great yeah, idea. On, on, on. Not even, not even. That's what gets him out is because he's in there and he's just like focused on this comic. Yes, and boom, that's what gets yeah. him out because it makes sense. They're like, oh my goodness, how could he? Because again, people think of they'll yeah. think of it like this: like, how could he have made this story mm-hmm. the way his mind is? How could he have created this story if it's violent or not? How could he have created this story? That's a great idea. The violence out, and then boom, that's how he gets it out, and then. He's back out on the streets. Yeah, you know, like it's yeah. too good to be locked up in there, and yeah, to get it out. Yeah. Of <laughs> and yeah, then you have, have like the the whole greedy. No, for I, hope that, I hope they're trying not to take story and the guards in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. boss, that deal with the boss oh, yeah. starts it all over again. Like you know, 
he's not getting his pay right or they want to change they want to change his comic and he's like nope this is my characters and then all yeah. of a sudden they keep changing it on him and that's what starts sparking the uh that's what sets them the all comeback. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it could just be more of a comeback, come more of like a flashback. Of this. It could be, it could be two people in his life. It could be again, maybe not even his boss. Maybe it's like his agent that's pushing him, and maybe his then he wants wife to kill his agent. And he wants to kill his agent and his wife because they're kind of like pushing him, bullying him, kind of telling him what oh, to do, yeah. pushing him in that corner again. Yeah, there you go. Well, I would be impressed with Billy getting that far. Honestly, it would still be, it would still be a partial. Redemption for his yeah. character, you know, if he he made he made progress before yeah. before getting to the same place he was in before, he had a chance. He did. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I seen all his drawings. I, what I like too is that how you had the drawings on the walls. I was like, that's, oh, I that's love the cool production design. design. The our production designer, Diamond Descope, does she did an amazing job. Really, everyone I worked with on Fang did an amazing job, and I wasn't the most experienced before making this movie, so I'm, I'm really grateful, you know, for, for this incredibly talented casting crew that I got to work with, you know, and, and really, you know, it, it's our movie, you know. It was, it was a team effort all the way, you know, and, and you know, I always, I always, uh, you know, shout out, you know, and say that, you know, hey, you know, I'm the one being interviewed, but this didn't all come from me, you know. It was, I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. and I couldn't, and I couldn't have done it, you know, without the people I worked with. Yeah, nice. Oh, cool. thank you. Yeah, so, yeah, oh, yeah, good support staff is important for sure. Oh, oh definitely. yeah, you definitely yeah. need a good team yeah. around you. You mm -hmm. have to have yeah. a good team. You're not going to absolutely. Nah. Got you. Oh yeah, and Billy didn't have that, you know, and well, it he showed. really only had Myra would be the, and he ended up alienating her too. So I guess I guess that's something I just thought of is that, you know, Fang is about how your mental illness can get worse if you know. Don't in your big corner. Because for most of have anyone in his corner, he he mm -hmm. spends a lot of time alone, and that that can be very dangerous. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. It can be. Mm -hmm. It can be. Have you are oh, yeah. are you start or not are you better are you uh, or have you thought of any other stories to do or any other movies? Oh, absolutely! I have a lot of different projects in the works and. My next nice. few movies will be very different from Fang in terms of what it's about, but it will still be in my style. And even when I'm not doing horror, it up being, you know, very dark and, and creepy and intense Ooh. at times because that's just like, nice. you know, like Fang isn't even really horror for most of it. But like you were saying, you know, the you know, the quieter family moments were still very, you know, yeah. dark in a subtle way. So I want to bring that quality to the next movies I do. I want to, I want to, you know, keep audiences on the edge of their sucked into the you know, being very intrigued by the characters and, and really wanting to know what happens next. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Cool. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Nice. Yeah, that's kind of how I felt with this one. I, I I kept wanting to see. I'm like, something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it was awesome because it's like to find out what you're always at the edge of something going wrong, and then finally, bam! It's you know, he mm -hmm. loses it and does what he does, and you're like, okay, there it goes. <laughs> so yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, I yeah, think that that's a well different kind of yeah. it's a different kind of uh, suspense. And thank you. Yeah. It's it's a different You're kind welcome. of suspense when you when you kind of know that you know it's inevitable that something is going to go mm -hmm. horribly wrong, and you don't know exactly how or when, but you kind of sense mm -hmm. that the characters are doomed. But then you grow to kind of like or care about the characters but you still can kind of feel their 
inevitable doom. That was what I wanted to get mm. across and fang and build the suspense from that. Mm. Yeah, because I can't. You, you can't help but feel sorry for that kid, man. Because yeah. <laughs> my life was like that, and I didn't have any mental illness. I, still, that's a tough. You would life, get man. one. <laughs> that's a tough. I mean, life. but like, he has I, I feel. I feel like with that though, you could even just put it to the thing of like, just imagine like, uh, just think of like, just think of like young a kid that's growing up right now, or just any time in life that's doing something that they love doing, and nobody's giving any attention. And then they're just, hey, make sure you do this. Hey, make sure you do that. Hey, get my this. Hey, do this for me. Hey, do this for me. But no one's paying attention to your interests at all. That's going to build up. And Absolutely. No, no and, and that's, you know, and that's, I think, I think actually that is something that a lot of, you know, creative people can relate to or identify as, you know, to some degree, you know, if you're, if you're young and, and very, creative but not successful at the art form you do whether that's you know writing or filmmaking or illustration is that it you know that can be a very alienating feeling so i put some of my own experiences into how billy must have felt with that too because you know where i went to Mm -hmm. college it was not a creative college by any means so i was used to being one of the few people on campus who had these kinds of interests where I was surrounded by pre-med or pre-law or political science uh, students. Yeah. So I put, I put some of that feeling into, yep, into yep. writing that aspect of Billy's character. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, you definitely see it. Yeah, you definitely see it for sure. <clears throat> Oh, that's, that's great. I'm glad that, you know, and you guys are, are great at, you know, getting into it because you're bringing up a lot of stuff that people don't mention to me about Fang. So I'm really, mm-hmm. I'm really happy for that, you know, and, yeah. and, you know, this is really cool and you're, and you're great at, you know, that film reviewing and just digging in really deep into these Appreciate that. Different, Thank you know, you. objectively fucked up characters, but <laughs> but I'm glad yeah. that you guys are saying a lot. There. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're objectively yeah. fucked up, but yeah. but, I, yeah. but, I mean, yeah. but but it, but again, it, it it's just one of those things to where like once you've seen certain things just in life. And then even in personal life, seeing certain things again, not to this crazy shit, not to this extent. <laughs> but just in general, you're just like, okay. You're like, I, 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 I kind of get it. I get it. I, I, you know, I. This is you know, something's something's obviously wrong. Like this person obviously needs help. It's not just, oh motherfucker, lock it up. It's like no, this person obviously needs help. There were signs since day one, but nobody was listening. Nah. Like day, like nah. this motherfucker yeah, thought he was turning nah. into a rat. It's like, oh man, that, that's a sign right there. And nobody really took, and that's the thing, and that, that's another thing right there too, where, where like, as far as like him being a rat and then the, with him with his art and actually his art kind of had like rat thing ish, but, um, was right there. It shows nobody's listening to him. And he's talking about how he's turning into a rat. He thinks he's turning into a rat and people are checking <laughs> yeah. and are looking at his arm, no, but yeah, no one really thinks he's like, serious. No one like takes him to a, like, a therapist. No one gets him evaluated. She just tells him to read this book. <laughs> And that's pretty much it. Yeah. That's pretty much it. But I wanted to you know. I wanted to have some black comedy in that about you know Myra's attempts at you know helping Billy is that you can look at it as being, you know, really sad that he's not getting funny response to him into a rat is like oh you know read chapter 12 of change your thoughts change your life <laughs> if, if this obsessive compulsive disorder description sounds like you so I'm, I'm glad that I'm glad that you know some people see the black comedy in it and that it's not just oh, yeah. me being warped <laughs> oh no! You listen, listen, listen. We laugh at a lot of fucked up shit. And I'm gonna say this right oh, now, yeah, people. Me too. You have to laugh at a lot of fuck. You have to laugh at that yeah, shit because <laughs> you go through so much stuff in life. 
that you can't laugh at or you don't want to laugh at at the moment. It's like, I listen, man, I'm laughing at this. It's, and it's in a movie, even more so if it's in a movie. Yeah, so- yep. Yeah. <laughs> let it let it out. Let the, let that you gotta, laugh. You gotta out. laugh at it. Oh man. She's like she's a nurse, like, I'll give you some oxycotton. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. 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 Ripley said that. <laughs> like, oh geez. <laughs> not 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 hey, not hey. I know a therapist. It's like, no, I'll give you some right. sleeping yeah. pills, you he know, some right melatonin or anything. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Great he, to the heavy he, no, she wanted to hand that out quickly. <laughs> Here's some drugs. <laughs> she, she's that one. She's that one person that you know parents warn their kids about nowadays. Talk about giving out edibles to kids on Halloween, which never fucking happens. Because if it did, I'll be trick or treating. But <laughs> parent would come back to the same house over and over. With <laughs> Put a different mask on every time. Yep. Yeah, got glasses yeah. on. Yeah. Glasses yeah. On. Yeah. 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 I just wouldn't even leave. I just put her ding dong. Go trick or treat, like sir. Yeah, just uh, Halloween and just chill. Here. Trick or treat and chill. Yeah, That's kids funny. aren't supposed to have this, so <laughs> give me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, you're protecting the kids. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But uh, I had I had a good time with this with this movie, though, man. I had a really good time. It was a fun movie. Oh, thank you. Um, and I'm really happy again, you guys enjoyed it so much, and you got so much out of it. That really means a lot to me. Well, nice job making the movie. Yeah, yeah, the story. Oh, thank you. I enjoyed it too. Yeah, for sure. The story, yeah. because you, you again, you, with the just the mental health stuff, you pull a lot. You pull a lot from that. A whole lot from that. Yeah. And honestly, guys, I think I'm gonna wrap it up on this note. But uh, real quick, Matt, do you want to let people know where they can find you? You and your horror movies on YouTube. And then Richard, can you tell the people where they can find you? I do have your um, Amazon link in here, so people can go check the film out for Fang. Oh yeah, Isn't you it? can. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, you can. Uh, you can look me up on Facebook. My name is Richard Bergen, B U R G I N, and Fang is now streaming on Amazon Prime and Vimeo on demand, soon to be. Stream- I hope everybody who's watching this interview watches Fang, and I hope you have a fantastic time watching it. There you go. Nice. There you go. Make sure you guys go check out Fang. Have a fantastic time. And really pay attention. I'll say this. Really pay attention to the story. Really pay attention to the story. And just like, oh, shit. You'll really, you'll get more out of it. You'll get more out of it. You really, really pay attention to the story. But uh, oh, go check out Horror you. Research 30, people. You guys already know. Check out Horror Research 30. Check out Popcorn and Pints. Check out the scene snobs. But we're going to wrap this one up and get out of here. You guys have a good night. I'll see you in your nightmares. Peace. Peace, guys. Good night. Good night.